This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're going to be talking about the Gravel Soft 3 ounce liquid bottles, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. Let's dive in. So just starting with an overall look at these little travel liquid bottles, uh, you can see that they fit together really nicely. So, I mean, it's kind of hard to show you them standing up, but they stand up like that. So they kind of come together nicely, which is nice for while you're in uh, your hotel or Airbnb, but also for storage, like while you're sliding it into your toiletry pouch, or if you're just putting them in a Ziploc bag, wherever you're going to put them, they fit together nicely. So especially if you were to use um, a set of two of these, so four of them, or even more than that, they kind of fit together nicely. Depending on the size of your toiletry pouch or the makeup of it, you could stack them. You could have a set like here and then put another set on top. Uh, they, they obviously don't stick together, but toiletry pouches for the most part aren't huge. So if you slide it in there, it's gonna stay for the, relatively for the most part like this. And if it slips, shifts around, it's not the biggest deal. Um, but each of these are three fluid ounces. You can see that it is imprinted on there. I'm not sure how well you can see that. But it obviously it's three fluid ounces, 89 milliliters, and made in China. So it's nice that that actually has that on there. So if there was any problems at uh, TSA or going through the security line that you could just be like, look, it says it right there. I'm covered. Please give me my shampoo back. But overall, these are just, they are what they are. They're little toiletry um, containers. And they kind of come in three little parts. So you unscrew this, move that one out of the way. So that's the first part, that's the cap. And then you've got this, the part that it screws onto that also has a little window here. So right now it says Champ for shampoo. And you can adjust it from the inside. You just move, there's these little, like little, I don't know, like tabs. And you move those around to get different things shown. So we got Champ for shampoo. Soap for soap, lotion for lotion, cond for conditioner, sun for sunscreen, and then blank. So you could write something there if you wanted to, or uh, just if you don't want it to be labeled, uh, that's fine too. And then back to shamp for shampoo. Um, but that isn't all you can put in here. Uh, you know, you could put toothpaste in here. You could put really any like hair product or whatever that you wanted to put in here, so long as it'll come out of a little uh, like silicon slit there. So super thick products might not be the best bet, but so long as it, if it could come out of a toothpaste container, it could probably come out of this. That's kind of a good rule to follow. So basically, what this is has a little lip on it, the the plastic part here, and that lip goes through here, and then it rests on top of this plastic part. So you kind of shove it through there, and I kind of twist it to get it to go through. Sometimes you have to stick your finger in there to pull it. But then that sets, like a, has a little lip to sit on top of the screw part. And so right now, if you were to just pull this, it comes right through. But once you put the cap on, it kind of holds it in place. So right now, like I said, if you just pull that, it comes through. But as soon as you put this cap on and screw it on, nice and tight, it holds it in there. So that's not gonna come off. I was able to one time, I wanted to test it, I pulled it incredibly hard and it came off. But so long as you're not trying to prove a point that you can pull it off, it's not going to come off. Like I said, I really, really had to yank on it. I mean, right now I'm really pulling on it and it's not coming off. And even if, once you close the cap, it kind of acts kind of like a little suction cup and helps it even more. Uh, something to note about them that, again, not a huge deal, but just like pressurization. Like if you were to push this out, it doesn't always come back. Like right now, I think the seal isn't perfect, but like I said, it's just a little slit in like that material there. So if that seal, like if it kind of like sits on top of it and you push it through, it'll stay pushed in, which isn't the end of the wor world. It's mostly like an aesthetic thing, but just something that I noticed that I thought was worth uh, talking about. So these are listed at weighing uh, 1.4 ounces. We weighed them for, because we use these on our digital Nomad packing list. So we weighed every single item for that. And it actually came in at 1.38 ounces. So we're just under their 1.4 advertised, but that puts them at um, 2.8 if you were to weigh them together. Because these do come in a set. You can't purchase just one of these. 
So they come in a set. We have the white one and the black one. Um, so very, very light. Um, that maybe not the lightest thing in the world, but for all most intents and purposes, uh, these are going to be more than lightweight enough. Definitely lighter than bringing uh, the full amount of whatever it is you're putting inside here. But lightweight enough for us, at least, for our digital nomad packing list. I think the biggest selling point for me is that they, they fit together like that. So many times I've been like putting stuff inside my toiletry pouch and like it just really wide in the bottom and then skinny on the top. If almost everything you need could fit in here. I mean like putting toothpaste in here might seem silly, but if you travel enough like and you fill this up with toothpaste, maybe that's, you know, for a year you could go through this in toothpaste. Or if you travel more than that, you would maybe need to refill it. Um, or if you travel less than that, maybe it's your toothpaste for a few years. But pretty much everything, every product that I use personally, except for like deodorant and stuff, is able to fit inside one of these. So just overall, very, very like modular, not know if modular is the right word, like stackable. Like it almost feels like a toy. Like I want to like build a tower out of them or something like that, but just really easy to use. And I do like that you can, um, let me pull that off again, that you can change the, what it says is inside there. Oh, I'm on the wrong one to what it is. So there's no like opening and sniffing it to find out what it is. Uh, and then you end up with something on your nose from sniffing it. So just overall very happy with these. And the little labels are nice because I've, you know, gone on a trip and written on it with Sharpie. And then halfway through the trip, the Sharpie starts running off and then I don't know what it is. And it just is kind of smudgy and just not very nice looking. So this is very, almost like more professional and something I forgot to mention earlier is it does have the gravel logo on the front there. It's not printed on there with paint or anything like that. It's just kind of like etched in there. And I think it looks really nice. You can see it more on the darker one than the lighter one. You can hardly, I guess, I mean, I can't really t tell, but you can't really see that at all, at least with the light we have right now. But it's very subtle and it kind of feels nice. But overall, I think I've said overall a few times, but these look very nice. They work very nice and there's not much else for me to say. I had no issues while using them, and just overall very good product, and I think something that you don't necessarily need, but it will improve your, your traveling by having them, and it'll make it just that much easier, and you know it's not gonna explode in your bag or anything like that. It works, and that's about all I can say about it. So there you have it, the Gravel Soft three ounce liquid bottles. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.